I stand here this evening a proud and successful graduate right here at Las Artes School of Arts and Education. I've been out of school for three years when I came to take the test to enter Las Artes. I was sure I was fit, would fail and all my horrible thoughts of not being smart enough would be true. Finding out I got into Las Artes was exciting and frightening at the same time. I was tired of living someone else's life, so I decided to take responsibility in my future. I needed to do what was right and get myself back into school. When I started attending Las Artes, it changed my whole outlook on my life. I had never wanted to go to college. I never even knew what I wanted to do with my life. But now I know, and I'm looking forward to starting a new and amazing life. Is that many of the students feel this is their last opportunity, it's their last chance. Our students sometimes are, are termed as the at-risk population. They're not at risk, they're at hope. They're hoping that somebody like Las Artes, like the staff here, like the opportunities provided by the department that we work with, and the Board of Supervisors are going to give them that chance. And they see that, and, and at some point it really does make a difference in their life. First thing I want to ask you is, how many schools have you been to in, uh, since high school? I want you to put a number up there. Now I'm going to ask you to list the reasons you didn't make it in that school. Being honest with yourself. And the individuals that come to us, for the most part, have either been in traditional high school or have been in other alternative schools who see Las Artes as an opportunity and many times in their eyes, their last opportunity to be able to achieve uh, a GED to help them in their employment and or continue education. So this change thing, it's not about Las Artes. This is a life changing thing that we have to do. Then you got to figure out what's more important to you. Your colors or your behavior or your phone or getting an education. That's where you need to decide to change stuff. Putting together this public art that you see around town. Maybe some of you have seen that. There's a lot around in South Tucson, but really all over Pima County. You'll see all the tile mosaic murals. Have, how many have seen those around town? Do you know? Okay. So the idea is you'll have a chance, an opportunity to be a part of that, to be a part of putting something together that'll be out there. We've had, we have stuff out there that's been out there for 15 years. So move that decimal here to the right once. That's right. So now it's three into 96. The, the, what really makes it different is the intensity of it and, and the expectations. Okay, ready up, let's go. You get mighty close, sir. You need a five more. You better have it by Friday. Nine times one plus two, two back in. They're here every day, Monday through Friday, six hours a day. It's 30 hour a week. And, and they're expected to be here every day and they're held to that. They're, they're, they're held accountable for that and, and we remind them of the expectation and, and what's at stake if, if they don't if they don't meet the, the, all the expectations, attendance, punctuality, uh, you know, behavior in class, production, getting all the work done and progressing, you know, learning and proving that they've learned that. Um, it's a package deal. By you not thinking you can do it, you achieve things that we all people may think can do it anymore. You guys, since you don't know any better, you're going to try to do things that we may think is impossible, but you not only try it, but you get it done. And that's a good thing. It's an excellent So, how are you? That little one, right? <laughs> Which one? That little one? The mountain one? Oh, I know. That's the only one we that's had. Good. The things that happen in Los Artes are not miracles. They're just opportunities. And the realization that someone really has the opportunity to improve himself. We help those individuals do that. What was the one that she just graded? Was that the uh, one um, about... Um, 
That was that. What do we improve our lives? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one I just did. I went to Pueblo. That was my first high school, and I came from a big family. Like I, my mom, I was a single mom with six kids, so there was no money, no extra money for what typical kids want: shoes, clothes, and everything. So my mom let me get a job, and I still went to school. But then I discovered. I was really tired, and I figured, well, I could miss first period and not go and still work late. And then I was just like, well, if I don't go to school today, I could pick up a day shift. So I just started working more. I'd rather work than go to school, which wasn't really smart. Uh, 32. Arizona official state colors are blue and gold. 32. And then the Oregon Pipe Monument established in 1937. This is, the, this is right here. This is the monument right here. I didn't believe it either, but... <laughs> I would like to say thank you to all the students that participated. Again, I hope you learned something. That's what this was about. Plus, it gave you a chance to stand up and address the rest of the students. It's not easy to do, is it? You get nervous, you get giggly, you forget what you were going to say. So, remember that when your instructors are in front of you or tutors are in front of you and they're trying to work with you, sometimes the same thing happens to them. So right now what we're going to do is have some drawings. So something else, that one is for perfect attendance, no disciplinary issues. All right, the lucky winner of that is three, four, zero. Three, four, zero. There you go. It was kind of like a bonus for me because it seemed pretty fun to be able to learn how to do all the tiles and all that stuff because before I wasn't really into that kind of art. I wasn't really into the um, like painting and drawing and stuff like that but these, the program actually helped me get more into my like artistic side and it helped me appreciate that more. Now I have more um, inspiration to start drawing more, using my imagination more. I remember I was really scared when I first came for my test. It, was kind of, it wasn't intimidating, but I was scared that I wasn't going to be smart enough, and I heard that that's a lot of the problem. Like, a lot of teachers tell me I doubt myself too much. I don't know, just taking the test, I realized that I'm not stupid. <laughs> so that was cool. And I like those teachers, they encourage you to excel. So, And they know, like, if you want to do something, they'll do everything they can to help you. Like, if you don't understand it, they'll be there. You shouldn't need it. But they're talking about the conclusion about the whole paragraph, not just this piece right here. And what they were looking for is specifically citizens' rights, because what happened during the break... Most meeting, of all, it's helping me understand more. They're actually teaching me stuff that the other schools couldn't help me teach me. And uh, that's what I like about it, that it, helps, it actually helps me learn instead of just reading it and having to figure it out for yourself. Sometimes having to write about something that they may not necessarily agree with, or they may not necessarily practice. So what I'm going to have you think is, um, have, write an essay in uh, three ways to remain positive in your life. Okay. Okay. And they did make the rounds to all the classes. We talked about what you saw, about the dress for tomorrow and also the holiday. Someone did raise their hand, I can't remember who and what class, said, I have an appointment on Tuesday in the morning, and I again restated, as long as your case managers are aware of anything coming up. They say it themselves, that it's a, this morning. is their last chance. The last chance to, to make it right, get their GED. And, and have the ability, the hope that from here on they can, they, they can be successful. They can go on to college. They, they can, they can um, do something that maybe their parent didn't, or their grandparent you know, to, to go on and, and, and further their training and, and job prospects um, so they can get a good job and, and make a good living. In that economics, it's being able to see how the country operates. And, and, and we're going to be talking, uh, now this is kind of going to tell you a little bit how things, how things get bartered. The diagram illustrates the average, the advantages of the money economic dance customers want ground beef. I used to give up while well, like high school I gave up obviously even though it was mostly about work I probably still could have pushed myself to go 
but I just went the easy way. And Las Artes is not easy, it's hard. <laughs> you have to learn a lot fast. So I think it showed me to, to keep going, to yeah. keep trying. There it was, what in 1990 what happened is the Russians uh, no longer were communists and they became a democracy. So basically they were trying to figure out how to do it. So they're like having problems. Yeah, so the bear is a Russian guy and he's over here democracy and he's trying to figure out how do you, how do you have democracy? How does it work? You know, we provide an opportunity for a student to get that education that is just the springboard to continue on to employment. So in terms of the impact in the community, obviously we're pulling from that dropout cohort that if they didn't do something with their life, they're probably not headed in a very productive avenue. So we provide an individual who has gotten their education, who has the hopes and aspirations and the dreams to continue on to do for themselves, whether it is to continue into education, higher education, or to employment. That has to translate into an employee that's qualified, that's efficient, that understands about punctuality and about showing up every day to work and about performing for the betterment of not only the employer they may be working for, but for sustaining themselves and a family if that's what they have. You know, they become individuals in the community, they become members of society who are contributing. Um, they're not, not, a, not staying stagnant or a point in their life when all they're looking at is, what well, if I have no skills, if I have no job, then what alternatives do I have? And here we do give them those alternatives. I'm confident. I had always invi imbibed their certainty. I imagine myself like some tiny sailboat aimlessly tacking in whatever wind veiled at the moment. I prefer to listen rather than to speak, to it inquire. It more confidence that I can go to college and actually take those courses and not fail and actually succeed. And uh, the scores that, that I get back, it, it actually builds up my confidence because it helps me know that I do know what I'm doing. They've become so used to having roadblocks in their ways or success is not something that they've been exposed to or have experienced that once they get that first test that they've been able to accomplish, once they have that instructor who has spent time with them or the tutor who has mastered a math problem that they've been able to accomplish and they see that there's hope and they get that vision and they feel that there's an opportunity for them to make a contribution. We are uh, looking at you finishing here in four weeks. You got four more weeks, right? I get, yeah, I, guess. I think so. And you already did the um, application online application for Pima College. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what we wanted to do is kind of move to the next step, talk about that, and, and go from there about what you want to do. That's if I want to go to, if I want to start school right away after I got out of here, what exactly do I have to do? The first thing you need to do is, is um, go down and take the assessment. Well, I'm going to take one t on Tuesday. Good, okay. okay and then take, take the next one, take the next one. I would recommend that you get those assessments done sooner than you're, sooner than when you were preparing for that math in three weeks. I would do it now. Your scores are strong. I think it showed me that I can't do something that I put my mind to. Like, I don't know, it, sh it gave me like hope for myself. Like I know now that, <laughs> hold on. I know if I'm scared, because like I struggled with this my whole life. Um, like I'm scared to go to college, but I know I can do it if I focus. So, and my start just showed me that. Like, even if I'm scared and think I can't do it, I just need to keep going. What I should do is, because I'm going to go on Tuesday to take the the reading. He said I should take the writing too. What are you saying? You saying? Put it's something not a together. Bad idea. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, and I don't think it is that bad of an idea. I just want to. Refresh my memory because we'll all look at the essay. So, do you want to grab a book from in there, a JD book? Yeah, and then. Um, yeah, would you just bring it? And then if I fail, I guess I'll just take it again. Yeah. Okay. Do mini tests until I um, yeah, strike out. Do you know where you left off last time? Mm, I think I was good with one, right? And then yeah, I you did one. This year, remember you did one. This one about internet tax filing? 
Yes. It's in their last eight weeks, uh, which would be the GED transitional students. After they've taken their tests, we take the time to take them for their cap and gown fittings. Again, that's a fun day for the students. They get to finally see a cap and a gown that's being ordered for them. I can't pay. Oh, you that like one. Them? That one. The one with the biggest smile. That one? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Because I could say that it was a milestone in my life where I thought that I was going to be quitting and giving up on everything, but ended up turning around and being something different. So it taught me to not give up. So first of all, let's start with those things that are really important to John and me, is congratulations. You are all here by virtue of your hard work, your dedication, um, pain, tears, struggling, but you made it. And that is what we saw when you first came in. That is what we hoped it translated for you. And yes, obviously it did. So from John and me, congratulations. Everybody here is so proud of all of you. We're going to do caps and gowns, your invitation. So Alexis, come on up and get yours. Marcus A. Manny. James, Marcus Q, Dora. So we hold what we call a, a, an appreciation dinner. The graduates participate in that. They actually write a speech, speaking into, to their experience at Las Artes, and we ask them to consider acknowledgement of those people that they feel in their life also help make this possible, and they realize it. You know, we many times hear about it was my mother that brought me every day so I was here on time. It was my grandfather who made sure I had lunch money. It was making sure that I had child care taken care of so they could focus. Those individuals in their life have always been there. Oh my God, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Before attending Las Artes, I pretty much gave up on myself. Hearing about Las Artes and its goals as a school, I decided to give school another shot. I was tired of everyone saying I'm not capable of doing anything with myself and always tugging down on me. This diploma proves everyone wrong because here I am, a 2012 graduate of Las Artes. Now that I have my GED, I really know what I want in life. I am more determined about my future than I ever was before. So to all my friends who made it here today, Take my advice and don't stop here. Let us further our education and become something great. Let us not settle for less, as a great teacher would say. We are the graduates of 2012 at Las Artes. We are here, we are the future. Let us show this world what our capabilities are. have a moment with the graduates before they walk out and I tell them this is my last chance to look at you all and tell you how much I think you've done a great job and I do get emotional because uh, I'm sure as a mother but also as this program manager you saw how hard it was for many of them to get to where they were at and that they were able to accomplish what they needed to accomplish. This is the fruit of what you decided is important for you. All of you struggled. Some of you I talked about with your case managers on a daily basis sometimes. <sighs> but you made it, and that's what's important. So I know John's words of wisdom are always usually, don't let this be the last graduation you attend, and do something with your life. Understand today, we're here to celebrate your accomplishments. But we're also here to say to you, this is only the first of your accomplishments. Today you've proved that you can do it. Not only to everybody here in this room, to myself, to our special guests, but I think you need to understand that you've proven it to yourself. Started crying before I started talking. <laughs> All right, let me find where I'm at. Good morning, everybody. My name is Manuel Armas. A year ago, I didn't know where that, that I would be standing here. I thought I had no future in education, and I felt ashamed of myself. I decided it was time to go back to school. I went to Las Artes every single day, except for one day, the day my son was born. I worked hard to get into GED, and today I finally take the first big step on my road to, a to be a college graduate. Thank you, Tisha Nagel and Manny Villegas. 
for accepting me into your home and your family. I promise that I'm going to pay you back for all that you've done. Thanks to Sabre for motivating me every day and getting me up for school and being a good mom to our son. Thank you, Maria, for your love and confidence. You always know what to say to me. Thank you, Margarita, for all your help. Thank you, John, for helping me get here today. And thank you especially to my son, Soren, for being my foundation. I love you, and I want you to know I did this all for you, so that one day you can be proud of your dad. Thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you all for your support, for helping everybody up here get our, our GEDs. Thank you, and I hope all of you go on and do great things in life. Congratulations to each and every one of you. You have earned this.